we saw what borders are margins are and padding but still i believe when you start working on these it might be a bit confusing so i believe i can show on another example differentiating how border margins and padding could be so uh, let me take a fresh tile this the one uh better i'll just remove the text and just have a container class parent div i'm going to say uh, background color is red see what happens here yeah. i don't see anything here because there's no content there's no border border can be one pixel solid black so when we have no content this is how we see so i mean there's no content all we see is the top border and the bottom border now i'm going to have a child there now for the child div i'm going to get some uh, lorem ipsum content if you all remember the lorem ipsum content this stopping this inside the child div i prefer my html to be aligned properly for best practices okay so what we see now is the div with red background within that there is an another div so obviously since this div is behind this div this div is filled with red now that's what we see here okay for the child div we don't have a class yet so i'm going to create a class now the child div i'm going to say background color is yellow let's have a border of green so the space that is occupied is basically by this div so that is why you see its background color not the red one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you in this example what is each element space when you apply a margin or a padding now this uh, this div right the child div i'm going to give a margin of I'll let me just give the margin at the left margin margin left I'm going to give 30 pixel you see this the from its container or the parent what is this div's container this div right because this div is inside this div so this div from the div this div's container 30 pixel has been moved so this red what you see is basically the containers space it is not this div space yeah even though when we talk about the div space taking uh, the horizontal space from left to right the div has a margin so the margin is pretty much from the container now instead of margin left right me just put a margin of 30 pixels so that you could see this difference now 30 here 30 here 30 here and 30 here so this 30 that you see is pretty much the parents space right 
because it is this one is being moved from uh, the container or the parent by 30 pixel now let me give a padding now padding is going to be 50 pixels let me give just the left padding or even the whole padding should be fine now see the padding from 50 50 and 50 and 50 so this is the content but this is yellow so what does it mean yellow is pretty much the background color of the child so this area is pretty much the elements the child element element space so whatever you see here this border all that is child now we gave the border as one pixel i'm going to give it a 10 pixel now so this border included the border the padding and the content is pretty much this div right now let me give box sizing that we saw earlier content box was what we saw earlier so content box is what it is border box so there's no change because i didn't mention the width here at all so the width is being calculated as 100 percent see whenever the div says 100 percent this pretty much means 100 percent of its container so 100 percent of container is from here to here so it took that but then we gave a margin so since we gave a margin the space is just there so try to understand again padding the content and the border is part of the element the, the actual element but the margin is not the not in the element control the element is away from its parent by this margin so if you look at this image you should get a fair idea on what is margin border and padding now along with the box sizing that we saw in the earlier video the calculation should be done appropriately if you have the border box it makes the job easier now i believe with this video you don't have any much confusions about the margin border and the padding